This is a landfill. The world generates over a billion tons of garbage each year. That's over three million tons of garbage in a single day. But a large majority of it doesn't even make it to a landfill because it's chemically unstable. 400 million tons of our yearly waste is considered hazardous and is frequently burned up. The U.S. released 880,000 tons of CO2 emissions in 2016 alone. In fact, a lot of the hazardous products that get sent to the incinerator, like aerosol cans, paint, and bleach, have barely been used. If a product is dented or sticky, often a retailer can't or won't sell them. They just get thrown away. And the disposal of these products can have a pretty disastrous effect on the environment. So what are we doing to prevent this needless pollution? Among household items, substances are considered hazardous if they're toxic, corrosive, reactive, or flammable. So pretty much anything you keep under the kitchen sink. When a retailer or a municipality needs to dispose of these materials, strict guidelines imposed by the EPA state that they can't just be thrown away in a landfill. One reason for this is because landfills are outside and susceptible to weather. Rain, snow, or other precipitation can seep in, mix with or dissolve hazardous waste, and become contaminated. This contaminated water, called leachate, continues to seep into the earth, eventually making it into the water cycle. In an effort to prevent this, we send hazardous waste to an incinerator. But that really isn't a great option either. Though incinerators are equipped with pollution control devices, pollutants from hazardous waste can be difficult to remove. Molecules can still enter the air and form new, more harmful substances, and like leachate from landfills, find their way into the water cycle. But what if we could prevent these materials from becoming waste in the first place? That's where the folks at Smarter Sorting come in. Smarter Sorting's machine learning technology is creating the first smart chemical database that will empower chemical conservation around the world. That's Chris Ripley, CEO and founder of Smarter Sorting. But what is it and how does it work? What Smarter Sorting does is it takes two high resolution pictures of an item, it weighs it, takes its barcode, and it assembles a complete data record of everything that's in the chemical. Which is pretty cool when you consider how broad the spectrum of hazardous materials really is. Remember those barely used, dented, or sticky containers? With this new information, disposal facilities and retailers can identify reusable products and divert them away from the incinerator. Perfectly good items that are still usable are sent to restore centers for secondhand purchase. Our vision is to do better things with orphan items. We're gonna help retailers and municipalities put these items to use for the purpose in which they were intended. And we're already seeing the results. Tens of thousands of pounds of materials have been saved from incinerators thanks to smarter sorting. That's great news, but as of now, the world is still on pace to almost double its waste production by the year 2025. That means we'll need to sort a lot more waste. And it starts with the products we bring home. So on your next grocery run, pick out the dented or sticky containers to put under your sink so they don't just get thrown away. After all, the best way to prevent needless waste is to never let it become waste in the first place.